I just scratched my chin. Now I look like shit. I look like shit because it's the end of the day also. Oh my god, I haven't picked up this camera in probably over a month. Oh my god, it's getting redder. I need to take some allergy meds. Yo, remember when I used when I was back in Brussels and I explained that my skin was freaking out and I had like these doctor's appointments and I was taking these anti-allergy medications and no one could figure out why? Well, it's still going on and I'm still taking medication though I only have like a a few left of my my specific anti-allergy pills so once that's gone I guess I'll be screwed I'll have to find a doctor in Japan which I haven't done yet in a year I know, very bad Okay, so the reason why I'm turning on this camera is because yesterday I paid my rent Good job. I know. I paid my rent. But next month, I cannot pay my rent. So I'm making this video to see how much I can figure out how much I can earn in a month. Literally paycheck to paycheck. I also have a credit card bill coming up. So uh, that's going to be interesting. I'm working my ass off. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Tomorrow there's an event I want to go to, but you have to pay to go there, so I'm probably not gonna go. It's only like 15 bucks, but that, yeah. It's 15 bucks that I need to pay rent. What am I gonna do? I'm laughing because my brain is like stopping me to properly think about it because I know that if well it knows that if it, it lets me think about it I'm just gonna uh, uh, life is fun okay this is my challenge for the month I guess amongst every other f fucking challenge I already have um let's pay my rent challenge pay my rent okay have I earned anything yet this month? Nope. No. No. Oh, yikes. Okay, I need to get on that. Yep. <laughs> talk about body hair in Japan I never thought I'd approach this topic but why not because obviously beauty standards are different uh, here compared to in the West um, I th and things are still changing a lot especially in the West like there are so many more like women who embrace their body hair like letting their leg hair just grow out or letting their armpit hair grow out it's all very different and i wanted to talk about it for some reason um not for some reason actually something triggered me to want to address this because i am considering changing my own body hair habits because of living in Japan so I thought I'd document this little uh, this little step I may be taking I'm acting like it's a big deal but it's it's not a big deal at all it's just that I want to talk about it a little with you guys I know like my audience is pretty split 50 50 male to female so it won't resonate with everyone though I'm sure there are guys that are curious about like women's body hair routine or you know etc etc and, and guys have their own uh, body hair thing so anyway we all have body hair for me my own habits were pretty much like get rid of most of my body hair like my leg hair my armpit hair take care of my bikini line any unwanted hair like I have a little bit of hair like on my lower belly that I don't really appreciate but it's kind of a hormonal area so there's not much I can do about that I'll just get rid of really dark ones and you know let the other ones live 
what else obviously i do my eyebrows i don't do anything here sometimes i'll just like use like the bleaching product if it gets like really dark but i don't i'm not i don't want to start, start start shaving my upper lip i don't want to start doing that like during my modeling days sometimes i'd start plucking it and i was like hell no please don't do not touch that <laughs> because i was so afraid of it going back like more like bristly like darker and stronger like there are so many stronger there are so many like myths about hair growing back like stronger darker that i don't i didn't know what to do like my mom's always been telling me like don't touch this hair because it's gonna turn into an actual mustache and uh there's so many things and i still to this day don't know what the real thing is because i've had like professionals say one thing and other professionals say another thing so i cannot give you advice properly All I, the latest things i've heard is that it does not grow hair does not grow back darker stronger if you shave them it just has like a cut edge where you cut it off so it will come back like prickly that's the latest that i've understood but i have no confidence whatsoever anyway as usual i'm taking a roundabout approach to getting to them and then getting to the main point is that in the west we usually usually don't shave our arm hair and i've never felt self-conscious at all about my arm hair if i'm out in the sun it'll usually turn pretty blonde and invisible but since coming to japan i've noticed like my overall god i can't believe i'm saying this my overall body hair has been a little more like it grows back faster and i don't know if it's a japan thing because maybe i'm eating more soy though also i feel like that myth has been debunked like soy estrogen is not really like the same i don't i don't know or if it's just an age thing because i'm past 30 now and my body's changing yeah <laughs> It could be a variety of things, right? It could be food, it could be environment, it could be age, you know. But I've noticed that my like my arm hair is a little darker. Like I've got a little more than what I'm used to having. I know you see you can't really see it here. It's like a duvet of hair, but I have been feeling pretty self-conscious about it, especially lately, and I have considered shaving it and i've considered shaving it the first time when i first arrived here and i was like should i do it nah i don't want it to grow back bristly it's pretty like it's the duvet of dark hair like most people don't see it until they're like really up close um, my partner like my ex has never really minded it so i was like nah, i don't know but recently i'm teaching so i've got like one-on-one -on -one teaching and I don't know i feel kind of self-conscious and i've been considering shaving it and i've asked around like some women say like oh for me it, it grew back a little prickly and some others say like nah it just grows back the same texture and i have that for my thighs because my thighs are pretty much a duvet of hair like i'm talking about my i'm talking about everything like open book here my my thigh hair is pretty um thin also like i don't have to shave it as much as my like my lower legs so i'm hoping it would grow back the same as my thigh area i don't know i have no clue right now i'm looking at my arm hair there's a lot but it's really thin it's like it's really a duvet of hair but you can definitely see it as there are they are pretty long not gonna lie so yeah, I've been I've been considering it and it's made me think like the differences of like the beauty standards where like in the West is pretty much like pretty much do what you want. I mean there's still a lot of stigma like ooh shave your armpits woman, like shave your legs. But I feel like in Japan women will shave like their legs, their armpits, their arms, but then a lot of people men and women will let their bikini area run completely wild like i've been to like public baths and onsen not in a while but most women like it's it's wild it's the wild bush it's the <laughs> amazonian rainforest and there's nothing wrong with that at all like whereas in the west a lot of us just take everything off or leave like this little landing strip or or let it grow wild like 
different things for different people anyway i don't know why i've been rambling about body hair for almost 10 minutes now so yeah just wanted to talk about it a little uh, i'm curious to know what you guys think but i'm also afraid to ask what you guys think because i know some people are so opinionated with body hair for some reason like it's disgusting go ahead and shave like it's hair you have some everyone has hair like m most people i'm gonna say unless you have like a condition where you don't have that much body hair or not at all everyone has body hair so i don't know what the big the big deal is she says as she's contemplating shaving a body part that she's never shaved before just to conform to uh, other another country's beauty standards yeah it's as you can tell i am i can't make up my mind i shaved my legs today and my armpits because it's the weekend that's usually when i take care of everything i almost i was like should i do it should i not do it but i, I can't i can't bring myself to do it like it's, it's another area that i have to tend to ah. I look at myself and I don't I don't recognize myself at all like who is this person with this weird massive pimple and the, the baby hair completely out of control with the humidity oh. is this me I don't know but anyway hey I didn't shave my arm hair yet every time I get so close to it and then I'm I just chicken out I still think I'm gonna end up doing it though but I need to have that one moment where I'm like fuck it and then I do it. But right now I'm just like... Uh, and then during class I look at my arm hair and I'm like, I should have shaved them. <laughs> it's so random. Oh my god. Anyway, yo, guys. I just had my first student. My first language student. I've been in training up until now. Well, training, kind of. Doing like demo classes with like the staff and everything. 
I kind of pity them <laughs> having to suffer through me trying to figure out how to teach a language and today I had to teach a kid that has like no knowledge of English I had to teach him English and he was just so bored he just he did he did try his best but I could just see oh fuck I know my phone is ringing and then I never came back <laughs> I was just out of it. To be honest, I'm still completely out of it. It's the morning, it's 8 a.m. I have to go to school in a few minutes. Um, I was supposed to get up early to wash my hair. Clearly, I haven't, so it's um, slicked back, which I don't hate, but like a lot of gel and hair grease are involved in keeping this together. I know, it's not like my best look. It makes me look like a little bit like an egg and especially I'm all puffy today because I'm so ridiculously exhausted. I don't know how like Japanese salary men, like people who work like really, really long hours every day of the week, I don't know how they do it. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get burnt out. I'm not mentally fit for this. I'm this weak European girl who <laughs> who just wants to draw for a living anyway yeah guys i don't even remember what i said yesterday but i think long the long story short version is that i haven't shaved my arm hair yet that yesterday i had my first student and it was a kid that could not speak any english at all and it made everything very tricky and i i i, I don't think i'm fit for this job but i'm just gonna have to do it basically long story short Oh my god. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. I just gotta do this. This is a very weird time. There's another thing that's going on in the background that I'll talk to you about soon. I feel like if I put it into words, I'll just break down and cry and I, I need to keep it together because I've got two weeks left of school before this trimester is over. And I've got this new job to struggle, to juggle, to struggle, <laughs> definitely to juggle. I have no time to eat properly. I have no time to work out. I'm a mess, so I'll talk about it when, maybe I'm in denial. Anyway, I'll talk about it soon, but it's not good. It, these are hard times. Anyway, um, wish me luck. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Today's the day. I'm gonna shave my arms. I'm gonna do it. Ah. to walk a little through Sensoji but everything is closed but there are far less people at this time I personally think it's the best time to come because the atmosphere is so nice and the lighting is so nice and it's almost summer right now so it feels so nice it's perfect actually so I'm just gonna go towards Sensoji just to absorb, just having a small evening walk in Asakusa. Forty-seven. Very good number. Mine is so good number. 
here? I think you are best. Uh, regular, regular. Oh, I like your approach. Like your approach. Good. Are you okay? Good, good. I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's over. p.m. I'm dead like this teaching job with school is just like <laughs> anyway I wanted to say I shaved my arms on Saturday I want to say it's now Monday uh, it doesn't feel too stubbly to be honest oh my god like Cup is like completely falling off my face. Okay, whatever. I'm hiding in this corner because I'm trying to avoid like the very like, the completely like the top lighting. Anyway, <laughs> just the update. I shaved in my I shaved my arms finally. See, I I took the leap. I shaved my arms. I didn't do a very good job because I can still see like some small like dunk, um sticking out. But I have like really fine arm hair, which is why I was hesitant to shave them. But with summer, I just felt like I don't know. It took a, it took a year in Japan to like make me super self conscious about my arms, and like I mentioned, like my self confidence is not great at the moment. So, yeah, I did it. I shaved my arms. They don't feel bad. They don't feel like a cactus. They don't feel stubbly. So, looks like I didn't make a stupid mistake. So that's fine. And also, um, this is my uh, teacher outfit. <laughs> I, I don't have much yet. I, I really need to buy some more like comfy outfits, but right now it's usually long skirts and uh, these kinds of shirts. It is what it is, and I need to wash my hair. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> to get my hair done. I did the last time I went to get a haircut was last December. It's now June. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to chop a lot of it off because of damage but I am fine with that because summer is coming up and uh, I could definitely use a trim not sure what I'm gonna do about my bangs yet I think I'm gonna um, I'm not sure I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask for help in Japanese don't know how that's gonna turn out but I'm not I don't think I'm gonna cut them back I'm thinking about maybe doing a long bang and then just grow them out and then maybe in the winter I'll get bangs again I don't know I don't know how things are gonna work out but I'm going to the same place I'm always going which is number 76 and Omote Sando and I asked for the same hairstylist as last time so the first time I had one person the second time I had the person who really did a really good job with my bangs I feel like and like just listening and trying to understand what I wanted so I asked for her again I think her name was Gomi-san so if you're planning on going to number 76 she is who I would recommend even though I've only tried two hairstylists at that place and Gomi-san does not really speak English so yeah Wish me luck, and I'll show you the results after. Also, random note, I just watched Kimetsu no Yaiba, final episode of season 3, I think. And I cried my eyes out, and I had to reapply my makeup. Awesome. It's too early, of course, but it's also early in the morning. It's not even 10 a.m. yet, so I can walk a little bit in Omote Sando. And it's not too hot yet either, so... I've got about 10 minutes, I'm just gonna walk around. Actually... I stopped by a 7-Eleven to get like a cereal bar because I was feeling a little weak and now there's a chunk of cereal stuck in my teeth always this side and it's always stuck for a really long time so <laughs> I feel I'm gonna be like doing this face during my whole haircut <laughs> okay which way? I do not need to get lost right now because it's getting closer to my appointment time so maybe I should go back actually for a spot to, to film this little little segment but I guess all the the secluded areas are already taken so uh, enjoy the, the sound of bugs the sound of the train and I'm gonna try not to speak too loud because people are ago, more than a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, that um, I mentioned that something bad was about to happen and I wasn't ready for it and I wasn't ready to talk about it. Also, like I wasn't ready for it to happen but I was also not ready to mention it and if you've been following me on social media, on Instagram mostly, you'll know that um, my grandfather passed away a few weeks ago and I am still fully in denial maybe denial like it's more like I know it happened and I know I need to face that it happened but I can't because I know that if I face it if I accept it I will just break down and it will take me too much strength and energy to get back up again like I know that I will go in a dark place and I'll need energy to get out of that dark place and I don't I don't have that energy right now as you can see um, my skin isn't doing great and I just I don't feel like my healthiest self so another guy coming why why let's give us a sec I guess I'm gonna try and relay like facts I think if I really like just, just like simple facts I'm not gonna break down we'll see anyway uh, I think most of you guys know like maybe over a month ago he was found on the ground in his home 
um, by the nurse that comes to take care of him every once in a while and at first we thought he had COVID which he possibly did have COVID but more importantly and it ended up that he had pneumonia totally unrelated to COVID so if I can remember because I'm getting everything like secondhand like from my mother from the news from family members it seemed like he was like in the ICU but it seemed like he was gonna pull through I think he was in the ICU for a while then back to like a normal hospital room and then maybe back in the ICU for a little bit but things seemed like they were looking up for him and that's what I thought for the longest time like he was doing rehab but I guess the rehab like really took a toll took its toll the rehab took its toll on his body and he became very very weak to the point where he was gonna go stay like he was gonna take a break from rehab and go stay like at an old, old folks place uh, to rest and to recover because he was too weak to go back home and when I was receiving all this these, this news it was all by text so I couldn't really hear the, the, tone, the tone of voice but things seemed like he was getting better and then when like they had to stop the rehab I just thought okay he just needs a break and then he'll get better and then all of a sudden it was like wait no actually he's not fine at all um, <laughs> and that was a huge shock for me because I couldn't go back I mean I could have I couldn't go back because I don't currently have a passport because I'm extending my student visa. So I was like completely stuck and here I am with the news that wait, my grandfather is going to pass away this week and I'm never going to see him again, shit. I was just going to relay the facts and now I'm getting into my emotions and I'm going and I don't want to go there but basically like I thought he was getting better when in fact he was not and it it was that one weekend when I realized that he was going to die within the next week and he did, he died within the next few days and it was it was impossible to, for me to, to cope with that so yeah of course I, I cried a lot but I've been pushing most of my feelings away to this day it's been like maybe two or three weeks now since that happened even like the funeral happened and everything and I, of course I couldn't attend um, but yeah it sucks because I know I'm gonna have to face these feelings at one point maybe it'll be in weeks maybe it'll be in months maybe it'll be the next time that I'll go home to Belgium uh, and if I, if this, this house is still around, hopefully I can go back home to actually see that house one more time because I basically grew up in that house. Maybe when I'll see that house, I'll just completely break down. I don't know. It's just, I don't know how to cope with these feelings. I don't know how to cope with my grief abroad. I feel so bad. See, I didn't want to get into my own feelings because I just can't I can't talk about them without feeling completely overwhelmed by my own emotions so I'm not going to get into it but I really yeah I remember I think it was in the one year update video that I mentioned that it sucked that I don't have enough money to go back home in case of an emergency like and I had my grandfather in mind when I said this and it's like yeah it, it happened the one thing I didn't want to happen happened and I was completely stuck here and not only did I not have money I didn't even have a passport and I still don't have my passport and I haven't even let I have even less money I'm completely flat broke and now I'm terrified that something else might happen I mean to, to my mother or to my brother and I'll be stuck here and it sucks the situation sucks all around now 
all I want is to be able to make a trip back to Belgium because it's about time. I need to see my family. Okay guys, I'm, uh, I'm having a, an allergic reaction, you know I've had this for years now, just took some medicine for it, and I do look like I've just been crying, yes I was just remembering my grandpa, but now I'm panicking because I was about to go take a shower because I need a shower, clearly, and I think I'm gonna cry some more, oh my god, I, <laughs> I'm like at the other side of my room, like next to the window, and at the entrance, I think there's a dead cockroach, and... The only time I've seen a cockroach was at the beginning of this month, after being in Japan for one year and a few months, and I saw one and it was at a supermarket uh, in the in the parking lot and it was outside. But this time, I think there's a dead cockroach in my room, and I'm freaking out. And I know it's dead. I'm pretty sure. I mean. Or do cockroaches play dead? I don't know what to do because now it's in front of my door <laughs> and it's giving me the creepy crawlies and I don't know what to do and I know it's stupid like remember when there was this dragonfly in my room back in Brussels I don't know if you remember this and I was terrified of it and it was flying around and making this really loud buzzing noise and this is the same creepy crawly feeling I'm getting, even though it's a dead fucking cockroach, and I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm gonna have to pick it up and throw it away, and maybe it's alive, or maybe I don't know what to do. Okay, the next clip is going to be a zoomed in shot of said cockroach, so if you don't want to watch it, I would suggest you skip past like maybe five or ten seconds, okay? Okay, I was filling in my, my shower gel thing, like my, my body wash, my soap, and then this, this fell out and it hasn't moved and it, I'm pretty sure it's dead, but why is it in my room? <laughs> Do cockroaches molt? Do they shed skin? And this is just like the skin and there's another fucking cockroach in here somewhere? I, I'm freaking out. What do I do? I, I, I hoovered it. <laughs> but do cockroaches lay eggs? Do, do I have to clean out my, my, my closet? Oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> They shed. Maybe it was just a skin nest. Oh my god. No. <laughs>